Hey everybody, Rhonda Giraffa here, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to work with Google AdSense Ads Robot TXT file. Um, it's actually a Robot TXT file, but you're going to allow the AdSense uh, ad crawlers onto your site so that they can check out the relevancy of your content um, and it won't be a blocked URL anymore. Uh, a lot of people have written in and asked me why they're getting blocked URLs. Everything's in the Google um, notes and everything back there, but there's still a little bit of confusion on exactly what to do with these robot TXT files. So um, the way you do it is you uh, just simply grab your notepad. So I'm going to open up notepad. Here we go. And you're going to create a new file. So you can just do save as and then uh, let's see we'll backspace here and just type in robot.txt and it's that simple then you'll hit save I've already got one so I'm not going to save this uh, you will hit save and then what you will do here is you will put the code in that Google asks you to put in okay so you can see here I've put this in and it's user a dash agent and then you've got your uh, semicolons uh, media partners dash Google and then uh, disallow this is the code that they give you to put into your robots txt file so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm not gonna save because I changed some stuff in there and then what you'll do is you can either upload that file to uh, through uh, FileZilla or any FTP server that you have, or you can go straight into your WordPress um, uh, cPanel, your domain name cPanel, and upload it that way. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so here we are in my HostGator account, and I'm going to go to File Manager. And again, you can do this through um, uh, FileZilla if you want to, too. I like working in cPanel. Uh, let's see. We'll put it on this one. It's a page that I'm not really doing anything with right now. And so what you want to look for, let me move this over. You want to make sure that it says public dash HTML and then your domain name. And what you'll do is you will upload from here your robots TXT. And just let me make sure that I don't already have one. And I do not. So now you'll go to upload. We'll click there. You'll go to browse. And then um, I've already got the robot TXT file open. So you'll open it and it's going to upload it right in there for you. And now you'll have that robot TXT file in your um, uh, in the right place that Google wants to see it. So that's it. That's how you get rid of the unblocked URLs using robots.txt file and how you upload them. Hope this helps everybody, and you know what, let's just go back so I can show you that it's there. Let's see this right here, robots.txt. We'll go ahead and open it in Notepad just to make sure everything's in there right. And there it is. I've got it, and plus some extra stuff that I'll go over next time. All right, have an awesome day, and we'll see you on the next video.